Hey, this is Brett with Summit Auto, and today I'm going to show you how to take your doors off of your Jeep Wrangler JL. Uh, you can see we already got the hard top off of this one. If you want to check out that video on how to take your hard top off, it's in the upper right hand part of the screen. Um, so you're going to need a couple tools to uh, take your doors off. One is the toolkit that comes with the Jeep Wrangler. You're going to need the T50 bit in your socket, or your ratchet, I should say, for uh, this particular door removal process. And then the second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to prep to make sure that you have a spot to put your doors. Because the last thing you want to do is be lifting a 50 pound door, or 45 pound door, or whatever they weigh, and not have any place to put it, and then damage the bottom of your doors, which will cause them to oxidize and all that stuff. So get a two by four or something, put it pretty close to the wall so you can lay the door on there and then lean it up against the wall and we'll get started right now. So the first thing that you want to do before you undo any bolts or undo any quick disconnects is you're going to want to roll your windows down. Now this does two things. It allows you to get a better grip on the door when you actually have it off. And then it'll also protect your glass from running into anything and breaking while you're moving your doors. So I always recommend rolling your windows down so that they're easier to transport and it's safer for the glass. Now the first thing you're going to do is we're going to take these front doors off first. But you got to take the quick disconnects. So as you can see, there's a strap here which helps the door um, not swing open all the way. And then there's also the electrical so that the locks and the windows work. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pop this panel off like so. There's two quick tabs like so. Now this is the tricky part. You're going to want to take this red snap that's right here. And you're going to want to push that up. And then the second thing, there's a little tab right here. That's the secret to this. You push that in and then that top piece will come off like so. So once it's all the way up, that comes off like that. There's a little strap here. You put your door in, just go like that, and now your strap is off. The next thing we're going to want to do is take off this hinge right here so that we can get the door fully off the vehicle. Alright, so new on the JLs is they have this bar right here which helps kind of hold the door in place in different spots. It's kind of nice because what it does is it stops your door from swinging all the way open. If you saw a lot of the JKs come in unused, when people would take the doors off, they'd remove this strap, the door would swing open, and they'd dent their front fenders, which happens on probably about half the used Jeeps that we see come through as far as the JKs go. So you're going to want to grab your Torx 40 wrench or your T40, get that into your ratchet right here, and then we're just going to take this piece off. And once we get this off, we can take our door hinge bolts out and you'll be able to lift this door right off and put it in your predetermined storage area. All right, now that we have our quick disconnects off and we also have our hinge off, we'll be able to take these other door hinges off with a T50 and go in just like so. But what I was telling you about before on the JKs, now that we have that hinge off, this is what would happen on all the JKs doors would open and then they would swing, the mirrors would swing into these fenders and then you'd get big dents on your fenders there. So you just got to be careful once you have that hinge undone that you make sure that it doesn't swing open. But if you stay on this side of the vehicle, you shouldn't have a problem. So you're going to want to get your socket and just get these guys out. And don't worry about the door falling off because it slides on top of the uh, holders there. So once we get these out, we'll show you how to take them off. Then you can take it to your predetermined spot for your doors. All right, so now that we got both the bolts, actually they're kind of more like nuts than they are bolts. We got both of those off. I'll show you. You can see that it actually is like a female end there where it will screw into there. But once we got both of those off, we can lift the door right up and then we'll take it over to our assigned spot and uh, then I'll show you how to get the back doors off. Alright, now that we have them off, both of those nuts, 
Um, what we're going to do is, uh, if we come around to the back side here, I'll show you what I'm doing on this side of the door. There's actually a handle for the inside handle that you can grab. And this is what makes having these doors off really nice. So we're going to grab the handle here, and then I'm actually going to grab the bottom of the door. So if you want to come around to this side, this is little. So you want to grab right here so that you get a good angle on this so they're not going to like go up. So these just slide up like so. And they come right off like that. You can see once they came off, it was pretty, pretty easy. So now I'm, I'm using the mirror to kind of hold it and support it and this. Now you can line up the bottom of the door on the wood. You can store it like so. Um, other people put hangers on their walls that can support up to 50 pounds. I believe these are right around 30 to 35 pounds, but uh, you can put supports on the wall, they can go on the wall. That's what I did with my old uh, JK. But that's how you get the front door off, and now we'll take the back door off. Alright, to get the back doors off, it's pretty much the same process as in the front. There's just a couple little things that are different. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is take this front seat and slide it all the way forward. So once you have that all the way forward, then you have access to this panel right here. There's two tabs on the bottom, so kind of push on the bottom, and then it'll slide down. There's two holders right there, and that piece kind of just hangs off to the side. So once again, you're going to have a quick disconnect in here. There's a little tab, a little gray tab. Press that in, pull that down, and that comes off just like so. You're going to want to close your door a little bit so this piece comes off like that. And then your next step is exactly the same as the front door. You take this piece off, you take your two nuts off the outside, and then this lifts up just like the front one. Now this one's going to be a lot lighter than the front door because it doesn't have the mirror on it and it's a little bit smaller of a door. So we'll do that in just a second and you can check that out. Alright, now we'll take our back door off. Uh, we got all the nuts off, we got the hinge off, and we also have the quick disconnects off. Once again there's a handle on the back side that you're going to want to grab and then you're going to want to grab the bottom to make sure that these lift off nicely and that you don't chip the paint. And once you got it off, see now this door is a lot lighter. I'd say this one's probably about 25 pounds, maybe 30. Now I forgot to mention it on this door, but what you're going to want to do is you're always going to want to put the paint inside towards the wall in case it does fall over. You're not going to damage the outside paint on your vehicle. You want to make sure that you're nice and lined up there. And then just store it like that. Make sure it's nice and square, but that way you're never going to get any dents in your paint or your body um, or get any chips on it, and that's how you do it. We'll take the other doors off and then we'll go for a spin with all the doors and top off. Now that we got our top and our doors off, it's time to take this thing for a spin, and as always, buckle your seatbelt. Let's go for a ride. So I hope you enjoyed the video on how to take your doors off of your Wrangler. Uh, throughout the process, this is the first uh, JL that we've taken the doors off um, here at Summit and personally for myself. But uh, just learned a, one little pro tip uh, for taking the doors off that you may want to incorporate while you're taking the doors off. So the first thing is take these bolts off first. I know in the video I, I may have taken the, uh, the hinge bolt off first. Take these out first so that uh, they're loosened and it's just easier to get them out because the door is supported by the hinge or by the, the lock on there. So it's easier to get these out. And then when you do take these off, make sure that you have the door opened up all the way when you take this hinge off. Because if you close it, you're not going to be able to get that hinge out and when you want to put the door back on, 
it becomes very difficult. So that's your pro tip of the day. Take these guys off first and then the hinge inside and leave the door open when you remove the door. So hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, click the bell notifications to get updates on all the videos that we do each and every day. Thanks again.